there should be a cutscene here, I'm pretty sure. Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? Look at his eye. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After no. Accident. Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. Oh. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulty doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. <laughs> Girl. That's sinister. So that guy there's name is Dr. Petruga. He's like the main antagonist of this game, pretty sure. Don't have any clearance yet. I've got to go see Sergeant Kelly, so we might as well go do that. Alright, Yez is back. Man, lay off. What the fuck? I'm just looking around, dude. Jesus. Okay. This light's flickering. Oh. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Dude, you are really blending in well with those shadows. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's us. <laughs> Look how we run. <laughs> oh, man. I love it so much. God. I swear we can hear whispering. Is that... Is this just me? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, let's get it out of here. Let's stop pissing around. Oh, here's the kitchen. IPN News Network, your universe now. Okay. Right, so we've got someone else's PDA. Uh, Adam Bernash. Oh my god, there's a cheeseburger on the table. Look how perfectly... Look how shaped... Look how, look how it's shaped. Oh my god. That guy's name's Cam Clark, who's speaking right there. He does the uh, voice for Liquid Snake, I'm pretty sure. You hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Oh. Shipped home this week. You lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're going to move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. Alright. Okay, so there's Mars. We can shut these. Like, check this out! Oh, man! Oh, I love how you can interact with the environment like that. It's so good. Oh, so many memories. <laughs> and uh, here's something. Three. So this is like a little mini game we can play. And uh, for those of you who don't know, that's actually Doom 1. <laughs> and you can do this and just punch the turkey, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love it. But just little things like that, like just little interactivities like that, it just makes it so much worthwhile, you know. Right too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Yeah. So everybody's insinuating that there's something bad going on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure there's no use to actually downloading these things. It's just, yeah, I'm not going to read all that bullshit. Okay, let's just head to the Marine Command, which is through here. Okay. I'm just going this way then. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something here we can actually pick up. Oh, what the fuck? I've never seen this before. Is this face? Oh, I can't zoom in. How do I zoom in? It's like his face has been torn off. What the fuck? Wow, that's fucking creepy. Okay, well that's... That is disgusting. 
Uh, so I suppose I should talk a little bit more about what this game's actually about, for those of you who don't know. Basically, this is a horror-type game. It's a horror action game. And uh, shit will go to hell soon, literally. And uh, it gets interesting from there. That's pretty much it. Here we go, there it is. Probably not going to watch that video, though. Oh, the plasma rifle. I want to get it. Give it to me. Alright. Let's go ahead and slip on through to Marine HQ. Took your sweet time, Marine. Sorry, bro. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. You heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. Hope you follow the sentry better than you followed orders so far. Oh. Take up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go find some kind of scientist that's apparently losing his mind, I think. Oh, what? What the fuck was that? Autosave. Wow. That's annoying. Okay, but... I guess I'll be able to live with it. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more... Come on, little robot. Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. You know what Carter said? No. What? He said that... Ah, whatever. I think there's actually an achievement to escort one of these guys without taking any damage or something like that. I was looking through the achievements before and I remember reading that. But uh, I don't think this one here counts because obviously there's nothing here to damage it, so... That's alright. Oh, there's another one. It didn't even stop to say hi! What a jerk. Oh my god. Okay, well we're here. Uh, what the fuck? Nothing. Okay. Alright, so we've got to go to... My, uh, out there. But, um, there is a safe over here. Now, here is one of the coolest things ever. So the tip just gave it away. This is... Oh my god. The incentive to listen to these audio logs is, uh... In, like, sometimes the person will have written in their emails uh, codes for safes like this. But other times, they'll talk about them in their audio logs, which gives you incentive to read and listen to them. Um, and this is just such a cool... And it, at the time, it was really unique, uh, in my eyes. Um, I'd never played a game like this before. Like, it was just so good. Um, I am going to listen to all the audio logs, and I'm, not, I'm going to try to keep quiet uh, while they play. First, I'll check his emails, though. So, Adam Banesh's... Or Adam Banishi's. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's Adam Banesh. Uh, so he's got emails here. Um, Adam, please take more caution in securing your personal data assistant. It's turned up in Lost and Found three times this month. As you know, uh, your base security clearances are stored on that, and it becomes a serious security issue any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure PDA could eventually result in your termination. Okay. So this guy's apparently sloppy with his PDA. <clears throat> Adam, your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I know you recorded the cabinet today and it's imperative that I update my master list with the new code. So, okay, so that tells us that if we listen to his audio log, we will definitely hear that code. Um, blah, 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 blah. What's this saying? You'll make a perfect test subject. Wow. Okay. So this guy was volunteering for something. Or well, they're trying to persuade him to volunteer. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, let's listen to this uh, maintenance update. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, 
found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. People down there are a bit off, just mumbling, weird looks. The whole place is just, just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Okay, 396. Success! And we got bullets. Yay! Like, so, I know that seems really trivial, but like, oh my god, that is just amazing. I love how they incorporated that sort of thing, you know? Oh, man. And, like, if you listen to his story, it just gives you this creepy feeling that something really wrong is going on around here. And, uh, oh, man. It's just good. I really just... I love this game so much. And it's funny because, you know, looking at it now, the graphics just seem so bad. But, like, at the time, I just remember them being so good that my computer couldn't even handle them. <laughs> God, it was amazing. dungeon, Marine most unexciting place on Mars. Mm, cool. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Okay. So he gives us a weapon. Combat. Let me do a radio test. It sucks that you can't end in the side. I wish they'd added that. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Good wow, that sounds really good. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage to the underground junction. That sounds so much better than it used to. We'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Okay. Oh yeah, keep in mind, <coughs> civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot at them. Okay, fair enough. Alright, we've got our fists as well. Um, this, this really sounds really basey. Uh, but something this game used to have is a flashlight, and... Okay, fuck. Um, this game still does have a flashlight, but, um... You can use it while you have your gun out. So this is the flashlight. And it, this flashlight also has a battery. Um, as you can see there in the bottom left. Now, this has spawned a lot of... Sort of... Debate. Um, some people are happy with this change, some people aren't, but before you basically couldn't hold a weapon while you held the flashlight in your hand, which sort of, I guess, made it more intense, because when you pulled your weapon out, it was pretty much like this. But now you can actually fight with the flashlight, so... I don't know. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. What if I do this? Yeah? Do you care that I did that? Apparently not. Okay. What's down there? Right. Okay, so I'm going to blow up this barrel because apparently there's an achievement to blow up a certain amount of barrels. Boom. See that awesome explosion? Oh, the graphics. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay. So yeah, basically this... Uh... Yeah, I know there's going to be a guy here. Hey. Looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see. You look awfully familiar. You look like that dude from the start. Maybe they're brothers or something. But they got different last names. Maybe they're not. They could have changed their one of them could have changed their names, I don't know. Um Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Oh, now, I could shoot these guys, but I won't. Not going to be that much of a jerk. Um, what is... Is there a shadow? That I'm not seeing? Oh, it's him. It's that guy. <laughs> wow, that scared me. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? Another audio cabinet. Or a cabinet, I should say. And I'm willing to bet that... That PDA we just picked up is going to have the code. But um, it's been almost half an hour, guys, so I'm actually going to take a small break, go get something to eat, and I will come back and we will resume, so...